how to T-bar row in two minutes or less. This is Blake with Kaizen Training and Nutrition.com and in this video we're gonna break down the T-bar row. This is a really good accessory movement for your upper back and lats. It's become very popular in bodybuilding circles as you're able to overload it. This is another variation like a dumbbell or a barbell row, but you're pulling from a slightly different angle and you're gonna need a little bit of setup for this. So typically you're gonna want some sort of landmine attachment where you can slide the barbell in. You'll see these in a variety of different ways. If you don't have one, find a secure corner in your gym on the back of your rack and you can maybe pad it with towels but that's gonna be our fulcrum, which we're gonna pull from. Now here on the end of the bar, as you start to load this heavier and heavier, I recommend staying at 25 pound plates or smaller because if you get a 45 pound plate, it's gonna bump into your chest and severely limit your range of motion. You're lastly gonna probably want something like this, I call it the V-bar handle, to swoop under and give you a good grip. If not, you can just interlock your fingers. That's gonna get uncomfortable as you load heavier, or you can use towels or a variety of different ways, but this would be the ideal setup. As we go to do this, I want you to get in a hinge position at your hips and then we're gonna pull, driving our elbows behind our body and squeezing our upper back. What I want you to avoid as you set up is what I'll see a lot of people do, is they'll kind of come here and put their back in a very vulnerable position when they first start the motion. What I want you to do is you're gonna drop your hips back into a squat, stand tall. Now I'm gonna hinge my hips back, so I'm pointing to the ground, and I'm gonna pull my elbows back behind me, squeezing my upper back together, and creating a really good contraction in my upper back. This is a good alternative to rowing. This can be used as an accessory for your back. This is a really good thing to program in to overload over time. I recommend doing this as a secondary motion or something after a pull or depending on what your program is set up like. If you're interested in training, nutrition, and coaching device, check out the link below for Kaizen Training and Nutrition.com.